This year was was very busy. It was off to a great start. Food truck owners had high hopes for 2020. This year was supposed to be like, you know, where, where we really made a name for ourselves out in, in Las Vegas. Instead, COVID stalled businesses for some for the rest of the year. Week one, we lost about $9,000 on our food truck. Guaranteed money on events that we knew that was just going to hit it out the ballpark. Within two weeks of everything hit, um, my entire year got wiped out. All of our events got canceled. From savory to sweet, food trucks of every specialty had to put things in park. Water prices went sky high. Panic buying and food shortages only made things worse for businesses like the cake wagon. For me, flour, sugar, butter, everything that everybody bought to, you know, start baking their own breads. Um, those were the staple ingredients for what I do, so it was pretty difficult to get them. A nationwide meat shortage makes margins even tighter for these food trucks trying to get back into gear. Ground beef was gone, uh, ribeye was gone, pork butt was gone. <laughs> It's affected everybody. I mean, it, it more than doubled when you're talking about uh, chicken, all, all the proteins, they all went up significantly. Still, your panadas says it won't change the serving sizes or raise prices for customers. For Onolicious, a Hawaiian fusion stop, stability may come in a more permanent setup. We're trying to find our own location. So, and maybe eventually, eventually, uh, we may go a brick and mortar. The key to a comeback, food trucks rely on events to bring back the crowds. Vegas will always bounce back. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.